Hey, bud, this is Guantanamo. Welcome back to um, Red Dead Redemption. So we've redeemed ourselves. We're back home. We're with Jack and Abigail. Um, I already kind of know the ending, but I don't know how it's executed. So we're going to learn. How do you do? How do you do, boy? All right. We should get moving. Yeah. Well, we got a dog? I didn't know that. All right, we're we're gonna meet my my other wife. Let's go. Her name is Bonnie McMurray. Come on. Easy. Now, I ain't racing you, boy. I had to kill my entire gang of people. That shit gets tiresome. I'm feeling, Jack? I'm feeling fine, sir. We got Are you? You keep crashing. I've never been to Hennigan's stand. I know. Almost. I met him while I was away. McFarland's a good people. Yeah, very we good folks, people. You please learn how to ride a how? horse. I was sick and they looked after me. Sick how? I got shot. I sure got a lot of questions. Uh, I don't often get a chance to ask them. Was it a gentleman's complaint? What do they call it? The morning drip? Good God. Duh, Lord, good Lord, God. man. Where do you learn these things? <laughs> the guy's about talking it. about gonorrhea. Oh, the dirty old fool. No, I just got weak for a while. I, I, I was shot. I was literally shot. Let's go ahead and talk about the fact that I was shot. The fact that we're we're heading all this way. Yo. Where were you all that time? Here and there. She said it was some kind of important government business. Yeah. Let's go ahead and leave it at that. Why did they take us away? They thought it wasn't safe for you here by yourself. Exactly. Those men harm you? I know. They're okay. Some of them even told me stories. Oh, that's they good. Like so they actually one day. took care of you. Politician. I'd rather you chose an honest profession. Yeah, seriously. Like you, you mean? I know I ain't uh, father, Jack. I made some bad choices. But I wouldn't say my profession's honest. Life, it's over now. Like, be, just be a good guy. Be a scientist, man. Just don't, don't be a cowboy. Damn it. Yeah. 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 Dead. <laughs> Six feet under. Yeah. I mean, you can, you can say that they're, no, we can say they're angry, John. They, 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 it's fine. They, they didn't seem happy when they saw us. I don't know. Every man has a right to change. A chance of forgiveness. Ain't that what the good book says? You've never read me the good book, sir. Well, I imagine. Ain't, ain't it time for you to learn how to read, son? Like what? 16? Damn. Get off my ass. See if we can find wow, Mr. the ranch was hella closer. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we go to the ranch, the why the hell were we on that boat? Why the hell were we on a train to get all the way over here when we live here? All right. John Marston, other guy. Public servants in Blackwater. Bro, I've ridden by you 20 times. To protect and save us from Lord only knows what. Thankfully not, sir. I was hoping you might still be able to sell me some cattle. My yeah, boy, man. It would be a pleasure. Hell yeah. Now. She'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> yep. I'm going to have to kill a bunch of wolves for the cattle, though. Take care now, Mr. McFarland. This is going to suck. Luck. All right. Time to find... Come on. My my other wife. I'm gonna show you her. Right, what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna marry her, cause I can't. I, I have a wife. Keep us all moving in the right direction. Sure, Paul. I can do that. And no I have problem. to maintain the honest man point of view. You help me. Bonnie McMurray. Oh, Lord, do my eyes deceive me? A devil walks among us. I said I'd be back when this was all over, Miss McFarland. After the barn fire, you remember? Of course I remember. I just didn't believe a word. Is that a different suit? So, you've come for some cattle? Is that a nicer yeah. suit? I'm finally starting up my farm again. Oh. Trying to at least. You'll be fine. You've been taught well. Come 
on, then. The high starchy pants continue. See, at least our pants just happen to be embedded. <laughs> Come on, cattle. We gotta go. Come on. Come on, you. Come on. Oh, Jack, oh, 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 oh. Towards the river. Make sure they don't run off the river either. Oh, oh. Bonnie, get your shit together. Please, dude. Come back and see you sometime. Will do, buddy. Yeah, I was there for a very long time. Back to the riddles, I see. And Mr. Williamson, come on, Floco. Uh, he's finally gone. Come on. He is finally gone. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Son of a bitch. Please. Come on. Please just go. So, is this your boy? Yes, yeah. ma'am. Say hello to Miss McFarland, Jack. Stay together. That that's his way of saying hello. I don't know why he keeps saying stay together. How's your wife? She's well, I think. We haven't had much time to talk yet. Yeah, I mean she's my wife. At least. It's gonna take some time. We've all been through a lot. The hell's our boy? Jack, what are you doing? Not really damn yeah. that good of a job leading now, are you? How's the ranch? We're surviving, but it hasn't gotten any easier. If you're still struggling, there's not much hope for me. Looks like you got him under control. I best get back to Paul. Nice to Do see we? you again, Miss McFarland. And thanks for Call everything. Funny, you don't. Uh, one day. Oh. But uh, I, I just I, I just don't want my wife to get mad at me and think I'm not being a loyal boy. Trying to stay loyal. It's all I'm trying to do. Is trying to stay a loyal husband. Go. You're doing a good job, son. Just lead him straight up the hill. Yeah, you're doing wonderful, Jack. Kind of blows, doesn't it? This is the longest damn herding of cattle I have ever done. But yeah, this this game has been very fun. Now, would I replay it? No, it's, it was a good whatever length of time game that I've played this for. And, and honestly, I thought the story, the story has been fantastic. I know I'm near the end. Uh, the end has already been spoiled. I know what happens to John. But again, I don't know the events that, that happened. And, and I know that you do an epilogue with Jack. And I think it's for revenge. But as you can tell, that's where my knowledge goes as far as that. Everything. look right. What's up? Stay back, son. I'll hold oh, them off. Damn it. Come on. You clearly don't like me, but Ah, I am doing horrible here. Okay. Here, let, let me talk in a minute. <laughs> I uh I have to uh Hey, Jack, there, there's a, a, a wrestler over there that you need a done kill. Can, can you do me that favor, Jack? Yeah. 
Sorry about that. I feel like the other guy's coming back, ain't he? Or just pure ass run. Should I go after him? What? Everything okay? Yeah, I gotta go kill the other guy. Alright, I'll be back. Dude, he is like way the fuck on, isn't he? No, he's not. He's right there. I think that's all up. Jack! Wait there, I'm coming! Alright. That's uh You alright? You're not hurt, are you? No. I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I wasn't scared on it. Alright. Let's round up the stragglers. Yeah, and get sure, sure you weren't scared. Slow down. Come on. Come on, Cal. There we go. Jack, head left up the road towards home. I know where I'm going, Paul. Do you? Come on. Damn it. Hey, you, you. No, with all the attitude that you've got, Mr. Oh my god. Hey! What is your fucking deal? Get your ass back! I like how I'm I'm collecting uh all this, you know, all the ammo from the dead guys. There we go. There we go. This is this is how you cow boy, dude. You you're being a piece of shit, cow. Get up there. Don't y'all there. Ah, uh, boy, what are you doing? Cow? Cow, what are you doing? I, I, I get so tired of this. Whoa there. So, I, again, I, I don't know if it's because we're getting close to the end, of the end of the game, but this mechanic was a lot easier earlier. And now suddenly you kind of see it. Load up now. Yeah. It, is, it, 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 it seems to be acting and behaving... Like, it's hard, but it's it's like as the game continues going, stuff starts breaking. I have no clue why. But yeah, so if I remember right, you, you do happen to play an epilogue with, uh, with Jack. I think it's a revenge plot, but don't, don't quote me on it. You know? Come on. <laughs> you gotta be shitting me. Guys. Gu guys, guys. I'm, I'm blaming this on Jack. Where the fuck is he? Easy. Are you guys just not going to walk? All right. You know what? L let's go do this and see what happens. Yeah, I got to get him in. <sighs> For fuck's sake, guys. Can we get rid of the fence? If we get rid of the fence, we can do this. Cal, I will kill you. Do you not understand me? All right. 
since you're the last one. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Now lead him into the pit. Go. Come on, come on, baby. Here we are. I'm proud oh. of you, son. Thanks, Paul. Come on, come on. Seriously, Jack, you're doing real good. Whoa. Didn't help me for shit there, but hey, come you know, on. worse has happened. There we go, son. baby. We made Did real good out there. Go on. Hit your horse and wait for me by the stable. Yay. Let's go. Easy. Let's let's hitch the horses. That's a fun did a good job, son. Nice shoot. Thanks, Paul. Let's make a rancher of you yet. We got all 15 cows. That makes me feel happy. Uh, we somehow also made $100. That also makes me feel happy. Damn, we got more missions? But what time is it? Why are you telling me you come back? Time to to consummate my wife Cooking. again. Same Texas toast. Past fifteen years with the hope of poisoning you. Ain't working so well. <laughs> Not yet. To be honest, though, it tastes bad enough to kill a man. <laughs> I never was. Like <laughs> try to be a good wife. And you have been. Oh, you're a great wife. Given what we was and what we came from, I think we've gone and done okay. Hell yeah! I look at Jack. I look at him and I think we've been blessed. Maybe he can be something more. He's a good kid. He can be whatever he wants to be. He ain't gonna be no frontier gunslinger killing and running those gang, though. <laughs> that way's over. Railroads and government. And yeah. Motor cars and everything gone and done away with all that. And he ain't gonna marry no orphaned working girl running with a bunch of hucksters, neither. If he meets one like you, I hope he'll marry her. <laughs> Stop. For an illiterate gunslinger, you sure know how to make a girl blush. Am I illiterate? <laughs> it seems like I know how to use words. God damn, Crows. John. You have got to go deal with them. They've broken into the silo again and are eating all the corn out from it. Of course, my angel. Wait. Get out of there. All right, all right. <laughs> I love seeing how this guy's actually being a good husband. This is some cute shit. Some cute stuff going on. All right. Let's do it. Am I not supposed to just kill them? What was I supposed to do? I can't get up there, can I? So if you don't mind, I'm just going to keep shooting him. I think I'm doing a good job getting rid of him, if you ask me. Finally. Now about that stew. All right. Now I know he said, how about that, Stu? But let's go ahead and visit Jake. 
Or Jack. Jack? Okay. Let's go visit Abigail. <laughs> Let's go visit Abigail without the gun, John! Oh, well, there's Jack. John, we got a telegram from some lady friend of yours, a Bonnie somewhere. Bonnie McMurray! Something you ain't telling me? Bonnie McFarlane. She's oh, that too. Saved my life when I went after Bill and nearly got my Oh, God, killed. she thinks I'm cheating. Oh, now you two's in the habit of sending each other letters. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's jealous. Or nothing like that. What's it say? I don't know. I can't. Well, you know I can't read. Give it here. Ben, why'd you call me illiterate? You read that thing out loud. I ain't hiding nothing. Dear Mr. Marston, stop. Need corn sacks. Stop. Emergency. Ah, she wants my Stop. sacks. Weevils and moths ate entire county supply. Stop. Can you help? Am I a corn Not farmer? Exactly the most romantic request now, is it? I guess not. <laughs> she saved your life, you say? Yes, yeah, I did, and I gotta give her my sack. I'm gonna have to help her and her family out. No shit. We've got a plentiful supply of corn sacks over near the silo. About the one thing Uncle didn't manage to have stolen while we was gone. Okay. Hurry back, John. And John, what's she like? Not as hot as you. Or as cute like as you. you. I guess. She's a woman in a man's world. That That is a way to hit on your wife. What's up? Damn it, John. You, you are becoming my hero. <laughs> Yo, what up? I changed my mind. I'm coming with you. Jealous, jealous, Hello, jealous. Let's get going. So we gotta get there before time runs out. I don't think I can let you go off again without me. Fair enough. I'm glad of the company. You only had to ask. Ask? I was waiting for you to ask me. I thought you'd want to keep an eye on the boy. Oh well, yeah. Girl, I ain't cheating. So, I will hit deer, though. No. What does she look like? I don't know. Hey. Pretty normal, I suppose. Normal. She looks like a farm girl. Like me? No. What are you talking about? You hot as hell. No. Them freckles, though. Curious. Curious. That's what she calls herself. Curious. How did she save your life anyway? She found me half dead on the side of the road and took me to the doctor. Most folks were left me there. Yay. Yeah. Bill wanted to shoot me dead, man. A dipshit? Yeah. Taking his revenge out on the world. People down there was really scared of him. A bill? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, apparently he got himself a reputation. Bill worked so bad, but when Dutch went crazy, Bill took it hard. For a while, we all thought we'd found something right. A better way to live, but it was just a lie. So you saw before they did. Maybe. Yeah. But they was still kind of a family. A family that left you for dead. Man, I, I really can't wait to play too. Like hearing all this makes me excited. Where they take Those government bastards. Where they hold you Man, you gotta imagine how rough these rides are, man. Like my poor butt. Can't have been too far from here though. They treat you right. It ain't the first time I've had a gun to my head, John. Uh you're forgetting your marriage proposal. They put a gun to your head? I proposed to you with a gun to your head? You we need to see that in the game. Miss McFarland, I'd like you to meet my wife, Abigail. Oh, ain't you quite the gentleman all of a sudden? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saving my 
once in life. And for teaching the miserable goat some manners, among other things. I didn't teach him anything. Yeah. I know better than to try to change a man. You should meet my father. Oh, people can change, Miss McFarlane. John and I have to believe that more than anybody. This is exactly. a first harvest for you, John. You should be proud. That's good land you got there. How are you feeling? Yeah, we Marston? stole this what corn. Your husband told me it must have been awful for you. I've been through worse, and I knew he'd be back before too long. He can't cook a meal to save his life. Abigail, in my darkest hours, when I was most homesick, just the thought of one of your rat meat stews kept me pushing forward. Saddle sore, ain't he, Mr. Farley? You're gonna start yelling about women's work, John. I'd say you might be in the wrong company. I'd say so too. I never felt so outnumbered. Yeah, damn, dude. John, you might want to chill out before they kick your ass. Oh, well, before Bonnie kicks your ass. I mean, that girl knows how to use a gun. I don't know about Abigail, though. Somebody answer me. Does Abigail know how to use a gun? Bye, Bonnie McMurray. Hope you get less starch in your pants. Oh, she's heartbroken. You could tell. You could tell that she actually liked him. Well, don't worry. I don't date women with heavy starched pants anyway. All right. Well, now we could have a pretty decent chill ride home, maybe. So that was the famous Bonnie. That was her, all right. She's pretty. She's normal, like I said. Well, you always wanted to be a rancher. I'd have thought she'd be just your thing. The perfect rancher's wife, if I ever saw right, her. No, nah, she owns the ranch, man. I've got the rancher's wife. What's up? I like her, and I'm glad she saved your life. Most of the time, anyway. The McFarlane's are good people. She did blush better than a shepherd's sunset when she saw you, though. I have that effect on women. <laughs> <laughs> One too many listen, listen to this man's oh, ego. Bad, listen to this man's ego. I love it. I love John very much. I don't know, John. How many times can we start again? An outlaw and a working girl. We ain't exactly farmers. We are now. Get that life. Working girl? What do you mean you by working girl? We have to. It's the only way we'll ever have a future. The life we led, that doesn't go away. It's never over. No. Why is it oddly foggy is suddenly? Now? The old gang's dead. I did what they asked. And that's it? The life is proud for killing? We're back together, ain't we? Till they decide you owe them something else. Uh, yeah, they keep doing that shit. Oh! Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention. I sure ain't, but you're better than they are, than they were. Pick up the pace, John. I want to get home now. I, I get you. Maybe we can't change, but we got to try for Jack's sake. Yeah, Jack's adorable. And apparently he went through a lot of shit in, in two. I know. I'm watching my roommate play some of it. I don't know too much of the story. Because he can tell you, I sleep right through it. They're dead. I get it. And now you can say they're dead. He's 16, man. You can tell them they're dead. They're dead. He's just been kidnapped. He grew up with the gang. That's no lie for a boy. We did our best to protect him. Have you forgotten where we live? Yeah. Come on, John. He saw things no boy could see. Well, now we got a chance to make it right. Come on, John. Let's keep moving. I'm trying to keep moving. I forgot where we live. Just like you said. Damn. I should have turned left to Albuquerque. What a big ass farm, dude. Like, I was not expecting John Marston to have this big of land. 
We did good today, John. Hell yeah, we did. I guess I better go fix us something to eat. Yes, um. She is so cute. Like the amount of cuteness that is happening in this game is uh is great. Who the fuck is you? All right. Well, this is going to be the end of the episode. I'm trying to play this to the end today in one day. But uh hey, if you like the video, I like you. If you want to see more from us, we do have a channel with other videos. Uh, check it out. And uh, buddy, I hope that you have a wonderful, fantastic, terrific rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Then why the hell were we on that boat? Why the hell were we on a train to get all the way over here?